good morning good afternoon good night guys how are you guys doing so if it's your first time here on my youtube channel all right guys uh please give me thumbs up subscribe man and put your comments man put your comments so today i'm going to talk about uh, uh columbus ohio you know uh you remember people were celebrating uh uh, uh, uh george uh, fluid victory uh, of uh, uh, judiciary thing, you know. Remember the uh, Derek Chauvin uh, trial? Okay, people were celebrating that because uh, Derek Cho Chauvin uh, was convicted with all three charges, you know. Um, so um, people are celebrating, but while people are celebrating, other black people are dying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, uh, in a matter of uh, hours and matter of uh, days. Okay. So I want to talk about uh, uh, this young lady in, in Ohio, uh, 16 years old. And uh, it's a tragedy. Uh, I think the system now is getting pissed off. The system is mad. You know? No, the system is mad right now. So you black people, be careful out there. When the police uh, stopped you, when, about, when you call the police as a black man, sometimes we black people, we are calling the police, but apparently we are calling our own death. Okay? You call the police, but be prepared. One of your beloved, one of your family member my dad okay so by uh by calling the police we are giving uh this white supremacy the permission to do whatever they want on us so okay go um, okay go back to columbia ohio okay um i listen the uh the voice and the audios and that 911 you know you remember you know that when the cops uh the narrative in favoring them you see they release their camera release their audios release 911 as soon as possible because the narrative actually favored them <laughs> now you see uh I don't know if you hear or you heard about the commotions about the uh, the audios or 911, you know, people are screaming. Oh, the, I think I heard the lady say that, call the police right now, call the police right now, call the police right now. Okay, so it seems there were kinds of fights, you know. Sometimes we black people, we need to put our kids on the straight line okay on the or in the straight line or on the straight line okay sometimes we, uh, we black people we sometimes we sometimes let us blame ourselves okay i i don't i, I don't say that uh, uh, that the race there's no commotion there's no fights there's no killings that the race also, uh, there's a lots of fights, killings, and commotions. You, know, you, you hear uh, white white kids are fighting the school. <clears throat> white kids are, are killing people somewhere. Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, kind of choking a little bit. But so uh, yeah. But the nine one one was called by one of the uh, uh, witnesses uh, in that area. It appears, uh, or it appeared that there were, uh, there were fights were going on in there. And the uh, body cam of the police officer released so quickly because cause they saw that maybe this will favor them. Okay? So anyways, so what I saw it, I saw one girl fall on the ground. No, I thought she's the one that was uh, shot. 
by the police and one girl hold the knife. Uh, one girl, was that chubby girl, like uh, wearing uh, blue jeans and uh, uh, black, uh, uh, I don't know, it's a black t-shirt or something like that. So she was uh, going to stab the other girl who was wearing pink, you know, pink dress, uh, uh, leaning on the vehicle, on this other girl was the knife. Uh, it, it, she was going to you no know, stab him. Uh, uh, so no, sorry. She was going to stab her. You know, I don't know. We don't know, and I don't know what caused that commotions and fights and over there that day. I don't know. We don't have we people here on social media on YouTube, or whatever the news, whatever. We don't know the uh, the real uh, the uh, the cause. Of why those people that were fighting, all those teenagers that were fighting, we don't know the reason. So we just, you can just speculate, you know, whatever. But we don't know the reality, what happened, uh, or what happened so that this, the other young girl, to grab a knife and go after another girl, try to kill her with a knife. Uh, let us talk, let us, let us talk the truth, man. Let, let us talk the truth. So, so uh, the lady that she called 911, she was yelling that, call the police, call the police, call the police now, call the police right now. Okay. I can, sometimes, sometimes we have to go on a thin line here. Okay. We need to go thin line here. We might actually blame the police all the time. But sometimes we people as well, across the board, whether you're white, black, or yellow, or Asian, or Latino, whatever color you are, sometimes we need to go on a thin line here. You hear, my, my people? Do you hear me? Okay. I don't know, man, but this is what I'm going to say, man. Okay. If... I see somebody with a knife going after another uh, individual to go, uh, the man of uh, holding the knife, and you can see the girls are actually, oh, what are you going to do, my family? I know there's a fight, there's a commotion, no matter who started the fight, no matter what. But once you see somebody with, with anything, whether it's a baseball bat or knife or stick or, or, or rock or stone or you know, a, a hammer, whatever you call it, that's called a deadly weapons right there. Anything, the, the thing that I mentioned, once that thing goes to your head, anything, you might might cause death or might cause, might cause serious injuries, okay? So, the police arrived, all right? So, this is what I, this is what I, this, this is what I, I saw on that video. Uh, maybe uh, it wasn't really quite good. The, uh, the video was really, it was really a couple of seconds, whatever. But uh, what, what I saw is that uh, the police officer, one of the police officers, I think the one who's op I think it was the one uh, who opened the fire, opened fire, killing the young lady, 16 years old, a young lady, black, a beautiful black girl. Uh, so, uh, I, 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 and this is what happened. The cops actually was behind this uh, young girl who owed the knife. Okay. It could be uh, very, very uh, uh, understandable if the cops were coming from uh, front so that the young lady who, who hold the knife could actually saw the law enforcement in front of them. Maybe she could have stopped uh, uh, doing what she was doing, trying to stab another girl, okay? But as a cop, 
what are you going to do? Because people were yelling, people were yelling, you can't even understand what's going on. So as a cop, as a white cop, you know, <laughs> as I said, once you call the police, be ready. Maybe one of your family member will die, you know. So you call the police, you black people in, a, in, a, in, a, in your neighborhood, then you, you, you are giving the police officer the permission to kill, okay. But what will you do if, you're the, if, you are a, if you are the police officer arrive in there and you see a, a person with a knife uh, raising his, his knife with, on, on, on her hand and going, going stabbing another, another person, okay, like the video saw, you know, the knife. No, go going to it means that she was ready to kill this another girl with a knife. So if that knife a knife went through, uh, uh, through, uh, through, through, through that girl on her body, she could have a bleeding. Maybe she could have have a big scar on her on her whole, whole life. Okay, maybe she could have even passed out or died because of that stabbing. Okay. So, if the police officer actually did their job, if the police officer did their job, or they could have taken some taser and taser the girl who, uh, who, uh, who was uh, uh, holding a knife and uh, who was uh, stabbing the other girl. And is it okay, cop, to open fire instead of... Uh, uh, instead of a uh, uh, open uh, uh, taser to taser the girl who was uh, holding the knife, what do you think, guys? So, to me, uh, I kind of I know people out there. They're uh, right now they're protesting, they're mad, they're angry, but as soon as you grab a knife. And going after another person, try to kill that person with that knife, stabbing another person with a knife. I have 50 50 here, guys. Sometimes I'm not happy that the girl was killed by the white police officer, and I'm not happy that the girl was intending to kill other girl with a knife. Okay? So another girl, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, say, I'm, I'm gonna say again, please. Uh, I know you understand my broken English, okay? I'm 50-50 here. I'm not happy uh, that the young lady, 16 years old, in Columbia, Ohio, died because of the hands of the police, killed by the police. And also, I'm not happy that the, 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 the girl, that she, she died, uh, she, I'm not happy that the girl that holding a, a, a knife, going up to another girl, trying to stab, stabbing her with a knife, okay? If the police were late, couple of minutes late, what could have been happened then? The other girl would have been maybe dead because she could have been stabbed and stabbed by the other girl, you know? And maybe she could have been dead or something like that. So, okay, guys, please uh, please put your comments, man, and give a thumbs up and put, uh, yeah. Subscribe. Take care, guys. Take care. Be safe for there, guys. Be safe. Be safe, guys. There. Okay. Bye, bye.